In this video I'm going to be talking about dates from a long time ago and I'm also going to be talking about how we use dates in sentences. Now this video is actually the second video in my English lesson on dates. So if you haven't watched the first video then I suggest that you watch that one first. In that video I talk about the basics of how we say dates in English. So I will put a link in the description below to that video. So let's continue talking about dates and in particular years. So let's talk about the years from 1100 to 1999. Now with these years we use the same rules that we were talking about in the first video. So we take a year and we split it into two numbers and then we say the two numbers together. So for example, we say 1232, 1467, 1739. And again, as we discussed in the first video, if the second number is a double zero, then we say 100. So it's 1100, 1200, 1300 and so on until 1900 and if the second number is less than 10 then we say 03 or we say and 3. So for example we say 1305 or we can say 1305. Now let's talk about the years from 1000 to 1099. Now these years are from a long time ago and when we get to dates that are from a long time ago we tend to put the letters AD or CE after the year to show that it's actually a year and not just any random number. So we tend to write 1000 AD or 1032 AD. Now how do we say these years? So firstly, it's the year 1000 AD. Now the years following the year 1000 AD, we say it as the full number. So 1000 and then the number. So 1002 AD, 1006 AD, 1007 AD. Now after the year 1009 AD, we have two options again. So firstly, we can say the full year, so we can say 1010, 1011, 1012 and so on or we can use the same rule as before where we split the year into two numbers and we say the first number and then the second number. So for example we can say 1010 AD, 1011 AD, 1023 AD and so on. Now the years from 101 to 999 AD or CE, we have two options again. So firstly, we can say the whole number. So we can say the year 246 AD or the year 573 AD. Or we can split the two numbers again. So for example, we can say 342 AD or 677 AD. And now, the easiest part of this whole lesson, the years between 1 AD to 100 AD. These years, you just say the number. So, 47 AD, the year 87 AD and so on. Now for years even older than that we write the letters BC after the year. So for example 55 BC or 230 BC and the rules are exactly the same we just write the letters BC after the year and BC stands for before Christ. Now one other thing to remember is that there is no year zero. So before the year 1 AD or 1 CE, it's the year 1 BC. 
which is one year before Christ was born. Now let's talk about how we use dates in sentences. Now when we say dates in sentences, we usually use two prepositions, on and in. So let's talk about on first. So we use the preposition on when we're talking about dates or days of the week. So we can say, I was born on the 14th of April. I was born on the 14th of April. Or if we, if we use the American format, I was born on April the 14th. I was born on April the 14th. We also use the preposition on when we're talking about days of the week. So for example, I am going back to school on Monday. I am meeting my sister for lunch on Wednesday. Now we use the preposition in when we're talking about months or years. So for example, I can say, I was born in September. Or if, you, if I want to talk about what year I was born in, then I can say, I was born in 1987. Another example is I can say, this building <laughs> was built in 1842. It's a random building. I have no idea when this building, this particular building was built. <laughs> Or I can say, this building was built in the year 1842. Now, how do you remember which one to use? Now, I like to remember it this way. <laughs> on has the letter O, which looks like the number zero. And in has the letter I, which looks like the number one. Now, one is greater than zero. And months and years are longer than days so when you're using in you have to use it with something that's bigger or longer and in this case it's months and years and so in goes with months and years and on which has the letter o which looks like a zero which is smaller shorter which is days so monday tuesday or the dates, the 15th, the 23rd, the 29th. Okay, just a few more things about dates and then I promise we'll be finished with this lesson. And after this lesson, you probably don't want to look at another date for a very long time. Now, decades. Now, a decade is a period of 10 years. So for example, from 1980 to 1989, this is called the 1980s. For another example, from 1930 to 1939, this is called the 1930s. Or even earlier, the 1870s or the 1770s, and so on. Centuries. A century is a period of 100 years. Now, when we're talking about the years from 1600 to 1699, for example, we call this period the 1600s, or we can say the 1800s, or the 1900s. When we're talking about decades in the 1900s, we like to drop the 19 and just say the second part of the decade. So for example, we like to say the 80s, or the 30s, or the 70s. So for example, in a sentence, I was born in the 90s, or I really like the music from the 60s. That was a lot of information about dates in today's video. So firstly, we talked about dates from a long time ago. And then we talked about how to use dates in sentences using the prepositions on and in. And then we talked about decades and centuries. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to get more videos like this one, then please press the subscribe button and also the bell so that you'll know when I have a new video out for you. 
Thank you for watching today's video. Keep practicing and I shall see you next time.